Welcome to Reconciliation Ambassadors Believers Assembly. Our theme for the year is a new beginning in God, with a special focus on walking in the newness of life in the new dawn. As we embark on the spiritual journey together, let us embrace the promise of a fresh start and explore the transformative power inherent in this divine newness. Welcome to a year of spiritual growth and renewed purpose. Our God and our Father, we are here again to appreciate you for yet another day and the beginning of another year. Father, accept our praise in Jesus' mighty name. O oh God, I have been this by the hope of years to come with bless your name. We worship you for what you did throughout the year 2023 and what you are going to do in the year 2024 that we have just entered. Father, be that lifted higher in Jesus' mighty name. As we go into your word session this year, Father, enrich us in Jesus' mighty name. Speak out yourself unto your people. Give them wisdom to uh, assimilate everything that shall be discovered with them this year, so that you can profit therefrom in the mighty name of Jesus. This word session, breathe upon it in Jesus' mighty name. And at the end of the uh, discussion today, your name alone shall be praised forevermore. Eternal Uncle Faye will bless your name. For in Jesus' everlasting name, we are prayed. Amen. We are welcome to another session before the Lord. And I want to join the other people to wish you Happy New Year 2024. The last time we met uh, was that of uh, 2023. And it pleased the Lord in his mercy to have brought us to another brand new year. And the Lord will bless us even as we enter into this new year 2024 in Jesus' mighty name. Again, I don't want to uh, leave out those people that have been supporting us, that is this ministry, in one way or the other. We pray that the Lord will continue to bless you and reach you. The source of your income shall never run dry in the mighty name of Jesus. Once again, I welcome everybody to uh, the presence of the Lord for the year 2024. And customarily, when the year starts, a number of things will be done, just like you, as a person, have done uh, a lot of things in readiness for the year 2024. And we bless the Lord that count us worthy of being part of those who that will make it to the year 2024. Our Focus, our prophetic focus for the year 2024 is uh, working in the newness of life. Working in the life. Let me just break it down. Let, let, me, just, let me come with, let me come with uh, the theme first. Throughout this year, I want to be examining, want to be examining the title, uh, A New Beginning in God. That's what we want to look at as a ministry this year, a new beginning in God. Remember, uh, since August 13, that this uh, uh, ministry was inaugurated, we have been looking at a series of uh, Bible teachings, and we have, I'm sure that we have been blessed by that word. And in continuation of that, we come to the theme which the Lord dropped into our heart, a new beginning in God. That is, as a ministry, this is the first time that we have a complete year uh, in the history of our ministry, starting from January 1 to December 31. And that's why it is necessary for us to have the idea of what we have as the theme of the year for Reconciliation Ambassador Believers Assembly, and I, I repeat it, it is a new beginning in God. A new beginning in God. You agree with me that uh, as believers, we have to reappraise ourselves. We have to re-examine ourselves and still see whether we are still in the faith. And uh, not minding what had gone past before, God has given us that uh, he will give us a new beginning in him this year, 2024. And we believe it. And uh, we want to, our listeners also, to
to believe that, so that the plan and purpose of the Lord shall come to reality in our life, as He declared uh, Himself in Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 11. I know the thought that I think towards you, God of peace and not of evil, even to give you an expected, and that is the word of the Lord for us for this year. He will give us that which he has proposed for our life, even this year in Jesus' mighty name. We must work. We must work and begin the year with the Lord and continue and continue the year with the Lord. That is a new beginning as a ministry uh, before, before the Lord. And all the teaching that the Lord has led us to give in the past few months of the existence of this ministry, please let us consolidate on them. We should consolidate on them. Even from these ones that uh, commence from January 2024, we want all of us to flow with the world so that the blessing therefrom shall be our a new beginning in God. That is the theme of the year. But to start with, the focus of this particular uh, uh, teaching is a walking in the newness of life in the new dawn. Walking in the newness of life in the new dawn. In fact, it is it's a new dawn that the Lord has made us to see in year 2024. It is not for them that run or those of them that wish to enter to 2024. It is the mercy of the Lord that has brought us this far, making it possible for us to be numbered among the living, even to witness year 2024. May God's name be blessed forevermore in Jesus' mighty name. Therefore, let's walk quickly into our title for this uh, discussion. That is, uh, the title for this world is Walking in the Newness of Life in the New Dawn as has been uh, explained earlier. Walking in the uh, newness of life in the new dawn. Let me just clarify this one. The walking there is not the kind of occupation we are talking about. That is uh, where you take step by step. That's what we call walking, the type of walking we are, we are talking about. We're not talking of doing a, a, a piece of work, a piece of work, with God. That's not the only, that, there's a place for that one. But the focus, the focus of this teaching is not uh, doing a work for God or doing a work that has something to do with uh, God. You know everything that we have to say has something connected to God. But for this particular episode, as a walking, that is taking step by step with uh, uh, God, that is walking the newness of life in this new Done. Of course, this is the new year, and I'm sure that many of us will have made our new year resolution. Uh, like we said in one of our teachings, that any new year resolution that will not be followed up is as good as a sheet of paper upon which it is written. It is it, it cannot it cannot deliver anything. It cannot deliver uh, anything. But the new year resolution that is followed up that is acted upon, then that is the one that will deliver that which the Lord has, has, has promised. And again, in the course of this uh, discussion and the subsequent uh, ones within the month of January, we will see why it is ready for us to walk in the new le- newness of life. Uh, in, the, in this new dawn with uh, uh, Messiah. The younger scripture for this discussion is the uh, Isaiah chapter 43, verses 18 and 19. That's the first one. Isaiah chapter 43, verses 18 and 19. Verse 18 says, Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. And verse 19 says, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall swing forth. Shall he not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers. That's the plural word there. And rivers in the desert. Behold, I will do anything 
Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I want us to look uh, deeper into this uh, uh, scripture. Let's look critically into this uh, uh, scripture that says the two verses under reference. Now, remember you know the former thing. It does not matter how rough year 2023 ended with us. The Lord is assuring us that uh, we should not mind that year. He has done whatever he wanted to do. But it's now assuring us that uh, uh, we should not consider those things that are past. Those things that are past. We should not consider those things that are past. We should not remember those for, for, uh, former things, especially when they are bad experiences, that we should focus on the God, and the God will focus on, we chart a new course for our life in Jesus' mighty name. He said, behold, I will do a new thing. I will do it. That's a promise. Whatever God cannot do, he will not, he will not tell you that he will do it. It is because he can do it that he has promised that he will do anything. I said that it shall spring forth and we shall know it. And even everybody around us too, we shall know it. Everyone around us will know it. And it promised that uh, he will even make, let's look at that word, I will even, I will even make, that is, what do, all those things that we consider impossibilities, the thing that we ever, we, 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 we didn't even think of, I be a possibility, that's the, that's the meaning of that language there. I will even make a way in the wilderness. Those of us that are of age, we know what wilderness actually is. What a wilderness actually is, is, is a deserted place, is a place for the birds, for, 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 for dangerous animals, it, 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 it's an abode for all series of, of, of birds. God now says that I will even, that is for you to know that I'm sincere with you this year, I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. There are many of us that have visited uh, some part of the northern uh, part of Nigeria will know exactly what desert it is uh, talking about. Even in, in the other, in the other states, when you consider the period of uh, the dry season, you can have a little bit of idea of what desert look like. But that is what we experience uh, the dry season in the southern part may not necessarily be likened to what we call the the desert. When we say desert, a desert is a place that nothing, nothing can even grow there. It's only sand. God now says that uh, I, I, I will make rivers, not just one river, make rivers in the desert. So shall he answer to us this year in Jesus' mighty name. Lord has given us his word this year, and uh, whatever, whatever we want to do this year, let us make sure that we anchor on the strength of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Lord will answer us in Jesus' mighty name. So this year I want to encourage us to look critically into all the teachings and act upon them. By the time we act upon them, that is when we deliver that which the Lord has proposed for us. And it shall be better for us this year, even than that of last year, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let us look at the, the highlights of, the, of our focus for this teaching. What are the highlights? So when we are talking of new, new beginnings, it means that we are allowing ourselves to accept changes that might bring good things onto us. New things, that is, we have been doing certain things in particular ways before, maybe because of inadequacies, we now want to have everything. We have to think back and see how we can improve on doing that thing in a better way. New beginnings uh, means that we are capable of knowing where we are lacking in the past. I want to use the opportunity for us to further our, our fortune in the in the now, that is, we know that we have suffered a setback before, or we know that uh, we have not actually 
uh, achieve what we can achieve, especially in the, in, in the spiritual realm. It's an opportunity for us that God has God is ready to give us a, a second chance, even this year, 2024. And we do just that in Jesus' uh, mighty name. So that is um, that is the thing. Then in the beginning, uh, a powerful force on our lives. Uh, there's an adage in the, uh, the Yoruba language that says, when a child is running and falls down, then uh, he, will, he will continue to look at the front. But when an elderly person is going, either running or walking, and falls and fall down, they will look at the back. What is the implication, or what are the implications of this uh, Yoruba proverb translated? When a, 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 when a child is going, is focused on when, when he's going. I want us to imbibe the true spirit. The true spirit. When we get to other teachings, we cannot be separating the lessons from the two, uh, the two sides of that proverb. That is the implication of a child after falling, still continue to look uh, to the front. That is still pressing, still pressed on where he's going to. Then the why the, the elderly person look back when he falls, then falling to learn from the mistake uh, of the part that I expect the one that make him to fall. So we are we are for, for the purpose of this uh, teaching, we will take the advantage of the two of this uh, the meaning of this uh, proverb. And the Lord will give us understanding according to his own plan for us in Jesus' mighty name. Me beginning present a fresh start, a chance to leave behind old patterns and habits and embrace something new. In the course of the year, except we are not sincere with ourselves, which I think we should be, we will have known those things that we did not do right in year 2023. And this year 2024, then we must, as believers, continue to do them right and so forth. We don't know any time that our own country will say we should cease work in this, in this uh, foreign land. Remember that uh, we are ambassadors. We are Christ ambassadors in this world. And when it pleases our own country, it may recall us back uh, home. So we must live our days as if it was the last. And as if our own country, that is uh, heaven, where our God reigned, we call us at any at any time. Well, still in the spirit of uh, uh, working in the newness of like in the new dawn, Second Corinthians chapter five, and when you look at the verse uh, uh, seventeen, there, these are part of what should guide us in our work with, with God this year. The scripture says, therefore, if any man be in Christ. Is a new creature, all things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. We can assess ourselves the relationship that we maintain with Jesus in the, in the year that just concluded, that is the year 2023. And we should make uh, a conscious effort even to live a life as if God will call us to our native land. Uh, very, very shortly. And I, as I usually pray, the understanding of it comes from God and He will give it unto us in Jesus' mighty name. That is why we are talking of uh, the content of this second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. We are, we are saying that even not minding whatever wrongs we have committed in the past years, not necessarily 23 alone, God is ready to make everything new and beautiful for us, even in year 2024. That is the essence of, of that. That all things have gone away. Now we said in one of our, our teachings that we should stop being the prisoners of our own past. We should stop being the prisoners of our own past. When will you forget yourself? I mean, for, when will you forgive yourself? You have committed a sin many, many years ago. And according to you, you have you have, you have uh, asked for forgiveness. 
And once you are genuinely asked for forgiveness, the God that I uh, that I, I serve and I believe you know uh, is power too has forgiven you. Why why is it difficult for you to forgive yourself? By the time you forgive yourself, God has forgiven you, forgive yourself, then you now go in the newness of life. But if you don't forgive yourself, despite that Christ has forgiven you, you still continue in the whole thing. That's what uh, Isaiah 43 is talking about. All things, all those, all those, all those, forget, so remember not all those, uh, all those, all those old things. So God will give us wisdom in Jesus' uh, mighty name. So we have seen a little bit of uh, uh, the highlights of what we are talking about, working in the newness of life in the new uh, drone. Then we must also remember the challenges of new things. The challenges of new things are there. But any, any, anybody that wants to make a change must prepare for the challenges of those uh, things. Especially if you have been sleeping excessively before, to the extent that you don't even have time to have your prayer altar, then it is that time you now changed your position. Maybe a student that was not uh, using the time judiciously to study uh, 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 as he should. And is, is coming behind the other uh, students in the club, or even taking the last part, there is a time for such students even to buckle up this year. Then uh, God is a God of second child. I've mentioned it earlier on. He always gives us a new beginning. All those things that we have, all those evil ways that we have tried before, He said He has forgiven us. But what we need to do this year is to walk afresh with him, forgetting the past. Uh, he has advised us, we should forget the things, uh, we should remember not the former thing. And in this area, you must forgive yourself too, even though God has forgiven you. You must, you must refuse to be prisoners of your own past, and the Lord will give you the strength even to do that one in Jesus' mighty name. Then, uh, well, there are, of course, advantages of uh, having a new beginning or something. Just like the Yoruba proverb I interpreted to English the other time. The child that is running, that falls down, then uh, now that he has fallen down, he will know how to now buckle up, you know, so that he will not fall down the second time. Even the elder one, that after falling down, looked at the back. Oh, he looked at those things that made that made him or her to actually fall, and they work against those uh, things. And I know these are part of the advantages of uh, having a new uh, a new time, a new opportunities uh, from God. Opportunities for success and achievement abound in in the second chance that the Lord has given us now, and the grace for us to assess. All these opportunities and advancements, that are even successes that Lord will deliver unto us in Jesus' mighty name. Well, when we look at the uh, beginning, so many things, so many things can be seen in the new beginning. And uh, let me now tell you something as I leave that uh, introduction. All these things that we are talking about cannot be delivered to us except our faith is in place. Faith holds the power, the, the power to totally renew our heart and soul. Our soul. That is, if you believe, if you believe that thing, the cause of which we are we are doing that a particular thing, then that Lord is is so is so honest that that desire, that wishes of our heart, He will deliver it upon. But we have to we have to have the required level of faith for us to have the maximum benefit. From the law. So faith all the power to totally renew our heart. And so we must have a determination for us to have that we want to have a, a renewed heart and a renewed soul. So these are the these are the things that we are looking at at this uh, uh, as early as this time this year. And the Lord will bless us in Jesus' mighty name. No. Let's now see how can we start, how can I start a new beginning with God? I've just mentioned 
a few of these things, and uh, uh, we start, we kickstart our journey. That is, when we want to, the first step I want to recognize that we must have a reflection of what we, we had in the past year or past years. At least some of them may be good, and many of them uh, we definitely need uh, some uh, adjustment. That is, reflect on the ways that we have used, especially you are trying to educate, reflect on that way. So before you can make any change, you must understand what you did last year that was wrong, and what you did last year that was right. That, is not, that will not guide your thinking on reflection of uh, those years. Number two, examine your value system. Examine your value system. I don't want us to be ignorant of assessment or assessing ourselves here. If we assess our, ourselves wrongly, that would be too bad. So let us be fair with our own assessment. And the Lord will bless us in Jesus' mighty name. Examine your value system. What am I worth? Some people, some people lack value system. And it is unfortunate. If you rely on people to appreciate your value system, you may be disappointed from so many people. But if you, if you appreciate your own value system, in fact, some people are there to let you know that you are in an entity, even though you are an, an angel uh, in, in, in your own right. But because of the, the person within them, the person inside them, they will want you to look stupid at all times. It is you that will know that uh, will know that I'm not a pushover. I'm not a non-entity. Leave them alone. If those people, for reason best known to them, they want to debase you. But it is you that will say, no, I know my worth. If you don't know your worth, <laughs> unfortunately, that person will soon, will soon get out of the scene. Because we think that uh, what the people are saying concerning him or I is the correct thing. So assess yourself. At times when, when, when I have reaction with some people, you are this, you are that, you are this, you are that, um, as I say, I reassess myself. Is it actually true? And the assurance will come from God to me that uh, don't mind them. Once God has said I should not mind those people, why am I minding them again? It means they have their mouth and they are using it the way they, they want to use it. But you must realize your what before you not begin to cry. Oh, they said I'm this, they said that. No! Assess yourself and be sure that you are not a non-entity. No, but no, God has not created any non-entity. It is man himself that may make himself a non-entity. That is, the, the, the young people will say, whatever the owner of a calabar call it, that's what uh, people will help me to call it. So number three, you have to revisit your goals. You revisit your goals. Those things you set for, for 2023, which you cannot, uh, you cannot accomplish, even those ones that you accomplish. Let me tell you, it will be interesting for you to know that uh, you may accomplish something, but on a tougher, on a tougher scale. But this year, how do we go about it so that we cannot suffer that, uh, that pressure that we suffer last year? Then uh, walk up to courage to commit to change. What I'm saying here is that you must commit yourself to change. What did I do last year that I didn't do very well or that was the result did not come out as expected? This year, then these are the challenges of a new beginning. You must factor in what it takes for you to be able to uh, change that particular perspective. Then after, after Take the courage even to commit to change. That is, you want to do something better. You are committed to it. You don't wish that since things are better. You don't wish that things are better. You want to work making things uh, better. Then thereafter, then your next move now, that, when, you, when you work on the failures of last year or, or the ineptitude of last year, they now give you a driving force to move ahead this, uh, this uh, year. Then uh, I want to advise also that you get a mentor. You know, get a mentor. The journey may be too too rough if you are if you are going it on your own. If you are going it on your own, the journey may be too may be too rough. So get a mentor 
and be made and be sure that it's a genuine mentor, not that not the one that will fleece you, or the one that you, or a mentor that uh, you be contacted to give me money, give me money. No, that's that's not that's not the idea of uh, mentorship. And the Lord will bless us in Jesus' uh, mighty name. Then uh, you now check yourself too. Am I am I uh, am I against my own progress? Except we, we are not sincere with, with ourselves. We will be able to know whether we are the one disturbing ourselves or not. Yeah, and if that is the case, the new part of the newness that we are imbibing this year is that uh, work against those things, you know, to deliver yourself from every lukewarmness. And the Lord will bless us in Jesus' mighty name. I have this quotation from Kels uh, Abakio. I said, take your time. Life is a marathon, not a sprint. And a race in which it's better to get to the finish line last. So, slow down. Be present in, in the moment. Then eat, you know, they eat more ice cream and whatever. I think we have got the message of uh, the composer of that uh, quotation. The life is a marathon. Remember when I was running marathon in the, in the, in the, in the past? There's a way that God led me to be leading the marathon that I took that time. Some people will run out their life in the first few minutes. I will just be jumping. I will just be jumping. I will just be jumping. When I knew that uh, the thing remains maybe a few a few minutes or so, that's when I ran out speed up. Those people that have run out themselves at the beginning of the, of the race, they did it on their journey. Then I'll just be overtaking them, overtaking them. So we have to plan, we have to plan for it. Although don't forget that it is God that helps us to be able to do everything. With God, we can do everything. So we not forget the place of God. And the Lord will be with us, even this year and beyond in Jesus' mighty name. Our eternal Lord of Ages will bless your name for the good start you are giving unto us by your word. That is how we can walk in, 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 in you, even, the, even in the newness of, of, of our life this year. Father, we bless your name for this grace. Accept our praise in Jesus' mighty name. Our God and our Father, we pray for the enablement for us to run the race. Of we are 2024 successfully in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your name forevermore. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. I know that somebody may be thinking that how will I now have a good a new beginning after I've committed so much sin, after I've wasted so much time, after I've done this, after I've done that. It is only for human beings that this may be difficult. But with God, all things are possible. That's the word of God. Once you can make up your mind that you want to start doing things right, you want to have a new beginning in, 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 in Christ. What he does for somebody, he can do it for so many other persons, and we do it for you. If you are in that category, that want to surrender your life unto Christ, oh, kindly put your right hand on your chest and say this word of prayer. And that my God that has that prayer, I know we answer that prayer. Lord Jesus, I come to you, I see myself as a sinner, and I know that you are my Savior. I confess all this sin. Father, forgive me. Give me the heart of new be beginning, the strength for me to have a new beginning in God. Father, release upon me everything I've committed before. By your mercy, forgive me and make me totally yours. In this year, give me the grace and the strength to walk in the new light of life with you. Father, I thank you. In Jesus' name, our God and our Father, the confession of faith of these people, let them be acceptable unto you in the name of Jesus. The grace for them to run the race of your 2024 successfully released upon them in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, King of Glory, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen.